Hey everyone, shh, 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 shh. Sam Marie, happy Thursday. A little sage for you here to kind of cleanse. I want to cleanse the air. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good late Thursday afternoon, early evening. I just got home from work and I don't like, I, um, the sun is already setting and so I can't get outside. So I figured, well, I'll pull some cards. So I have the angels, gods, and goddesses oracle that we're going to pull from right now. And we might speak to our ancestors. We might speak, you know, we'll just see what, where the night takes us. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides, and divine beings and sources of light. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Angel of healing, the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. Cover her breasts. Angel of guidance, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. And this may go along earlier when I pulled the cards when I was uh, lunch break or whatever. Um, I was talking about being stagnant and feeling like people were stuck and not manifesting that for us by having a different perception of the times that were to stop or yield sign. You may have noticed that the energy has shifted recently or you can feel something about to occur in your life. I know that's like a general feeling for a lot of the collective, so I don't, you know, take what resonates. But this is saying that, and Spirit is saying that Something's going to occur that gives you a renewed sense of direction and a, a new, I don't know, relighting your fire or really focusing on what your purpose is and the direction you want to go in your life or in this endeavor or whatever it is that you were thinking about. And I like that the key word here says, will manifest. So that means it's something that you've been thinking about. So that's, again, be mindful of your thoughts. Um, and I have to say this to myself too, you know, I'm not stuck, I'm not stagnant, I'm, I'm in a place where I need to just take a step back or just pause real quick and reevaluate things and plant some seeds. You know, it, there is so much healing and growth in the pause. A lot more than I think individuals realize. There's a lot of growth and healing in the pause of things. Because in the pause of things, <laughs> In the pause of things, we hopefully can take time to reflect and take ownership and accountability for whatever our situation is and what we say to ourselves and the words we speak to ourselves and not project it and, you know, and blame others for the situations that we're in. Yes, there are extenuating circumstances. I get it. Trust me. I've <laughs> let me count the ways. <laughs> um, and that's when we have to really take a step back and look at the people around us and who we really need to be around because I... But this, and so Spirit is saying that you are manifesting this. And so start to think about, even if you're not sure what this new spark or this new endeavor may look like or whatever it is, um, start to envision that's strange. I lost the whole message. Angel of Guidance, Renewed Sense of Direction, the Angels Have Felt Your Sadness. I mean, that's, that's how you really know if it's for you. You've been really sad about this. This may be for people who don't feel as though they have a purpose or no, not maybe you're willy nilly, but no sense of direction. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to be doing. You're just kind of tay in the wind, she could be. <laughs> no offense, no disrespect. Oh, we have to laugh. I mean, you know, it's like life is, you know what I'm saying? Like, give yourself a break. Laugh a little. I mean, you kind of laugh at yourself. But, um, so you may be just kind of like in where the wind blows. And, um, the clouds are like, I don't know the technical name for them, but they're like real, um, they've got cotton balls, <laughs> but it looks like a cotton ball of a heart right there out the window. Yeah, spirit is saying that the healing that is about to occur in your life is what you've been manifesting you need to work on. Um, 
it's really weird. I feel like the message is right there, and all of a sudden, I feel like boom, like like it got like someone's trying to block. <laughs> like I can feel, like I can. It's like a shift. My body shifts. I can tell when spirit's done giving me a message, and I can tell when something is being done. It's a very interesting feeling. And my left ear is ringing right now. Thank you, spirit. And left ear is ringing like ancestors want us. Ancestors want to speak. Stop what you're doing. The ancestors about to ruin. <laughs> if you know the song, you know the song. <laughs> I'm busy. Ancestors, spirit guides, divine instant beings, and sources of life. There's a lot. Okay, the ancestors really want to talk. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you for that redirection. <laughs> Open to love, relationships, passion, enlightenment. Your heart. And this doesn't have to always be intimate love. It could be love of self, love of finding your purpose, love of the journey of your purpose, love of friendships and connections. It doesn't have to be romantic, ancestors say. Yeah, because I was just going to say this. Because you'll be teaching and sharing, instill, instruct, educate. Maybe this is what you've been manifesting. A group of people that are on this new timeline with you that are in alignment with what you are manifesting for yourself, those type of love connections, because you're supposed to be able to teach and share and heal. And um, it, I see like, um, I used to wear a flower of life pendant. And that's when I see like all these amazing, it's, it's this amazing, I'm seeing this amazing flow of energy of entities and beings of the collective. Where there's no ego and everyone, even if there's 50 people who practice Reiki, everybody has their individual way and everybody is just sharing and they're growing. It doesn't have to be that many people, I'm just saying. Okay. Um, explore your creative side. Visualize, paint, record. And I just mentioned the other day about recording stuff. Even though it was in a different context. I was like, anything you see or experience, make sure you write and document down. But And look at her. She, I bet you, hundred, I bet you, Spirit, Spirit told me I could say this too. She said to her other her friends, like, I can't even paint. I can't even paint. I draw stick buffaloes or I stick paintings. They didn't care if they could draw or not. They did it to express themselves to tap into a different part of their heart space of just finding joy and doing something, whether they could do it well or not. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's literally. <laughs> There's a little, like, deep heard message there. I'm just, yeah. And this visualization could also be you visualizing, visualizing what you're manifesting, visualizing this group or these connections or what you want your heart space to look like. Open to love, teach and share. Okay, where was the other one? Oh. Embrace your inner gypsy. Freedom, fun, music. <laughs> I mean, okay, spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Spirit just said that they were happy that I didn't doubt myself when I lost the message that I just called it what I thought it and knew it to be and how I was able to reshift that energy and not to edit the video. So there it is. And then people who read, they, 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 this happens often to us. So it's, uh, this is like nothing new. But anyway. Oh, we need to get it. Yeah. Embrace your inner gypsy. Yeah. I mean, all these cards are like, explore your crave side. It's like, if you're manifesting connections with people or your husband or whatever, it's like, visualize, be creative. It doesn't matter how you do it. You know, visualize, manifest, have fun. Have